in today's video, I'm going to talk a bit about flute fundamentals. And this is a lesson, a tutorial for people, for those who are just starting out in playing the flute, how to hold it, the proper fingering, and how to produce your first few notes. First of all, let's take a look at the fingering of the flute. Now, there are a lot of keys and buttons here. Uh, this particular model is a flagship closed hole flute. Closed hole means to say, all your holes over here, they're all, all covered. Some flutes, more professional models, have actually have holes in between here. And you can use tricks like uh, half fingerings. Well, there's no hole to see here, but you can kind of get the idea. And glissandos, where you drag your fingers off of the holes. So anyway, we'll take a look at the left hand position. Mm. My left hand is going to support the flute like this. And I'm sort of going to pinch this key here. Not the top here, this one isn't your key, this one here. In between my index finger and my thumb. There we go. So basically, this is how you're going to hold it. My right hand is going to support it using my thumb for now. Then I am going to um, go across one of these, these notes. I'm not going to play this one. This is not for, for playing. This one here, with the middle finger. And this one with your ring finger. The final one, your pinky finger is going to operate this G-sharp key. So we have one, two, three, four, occasionally five. But basically, most of the time, we're going to be using this fingering. Okay, now, for the right-hand position, it's a bit tricky. What I'm going to do, we have these three holes over here, not this one up here. This one, beginning on this. So it's uh, nothing, finger one, nothing, finger two, finger three, nothing, finger four goes here. And we're going to skip two more holes. One, two, three. This one. So this is how it looks like. I'm going to put my left hand index finger on this. It's called the F key. My middle finger on the E key. My ring finger on the D key. And my pinky is going to play... These are called the table keys, if I'm not mistaken. So either one of these three. One, two, three. I have three options and positions to choose from. My thumb is going to support it like this. And so, it will look sort of like this. You play the flute horizontally. A horizontal position. When you go up to the higher register, you'll find that in order to play these two keys, You'll lose balance here, and this is what this pinky finger is for, to keep the balance over here while playing. If I let go of this, it's going to drop. Yeah, it's not easy at all. So this is the proper fingering for the flute. Next, we're going to talk about blowing through the flute. I am not going to ask you to blow the flute straight away. Instead, we're going to use the mouthpiece. Let me take this out. Okay. How do you produce a sound on the flute? If you've ever blown across a glass bottle before, where you sort of hold the bottle to your, to your mouth and when you blow, the bottle resonates, this is the st kind of the same concept that we're going to do. I am going to cover this part of the mouthpiece with my hand. I want you to notice the position of my mouth. It is not too low. It's also not too high either. It's just nice, in fact. You know this. And there's a certain shape that my mouth opening will form while playing this note. If I blow, you don't get a very stable tone. I'm forming my airstream into a very smooth line, a very smooth line. If you were to take your hand and lightly blow against this line, you'll feel that the air stream is very round. You can actually feel it. So this is what you're going to do. Now, once you get a bit better at this one, I'm going to take it up to the next register. You see what's going on in my mouth opening? I am... Uh, how would I say? I am narrowing the airstream. I am forcing it smaller. And 
this is how you're going to control the resistance on the flute. It doesn't work like a saxophone when there's an octave key. There's no octave key. It's all in the mouth, and I'm not sure. Okay? So get this right. And once you have a consistent sound from the flute, then we'll put it back together in the body. And we're going to blow our first few notes. Do not rest your flute on the shoulder like this. You don't play it this way. It's like this. It may take a, a bit of time getting used to. You, you may feel some tightness in your hand, but you'll get used to it. So the first note we're going to learn is this open C. All holes are open, including the thumb hole behind here. Just my index finger on here. And my little finger on the right, left, on the right hand to balance. One more time. This is your C. This is your B. A. G. F. E. D. And finally, your low C. This is a bit hard to control. One more time, going up. Going down. So those are your basic fundamentals of the flute. Uh, I will go through these in further detail in the next video. Stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching. Together we make music education accessible to everyone. I'm Isa Sasaha.